in weather now. It may not just be speed, but size that makes Hurricane Milton so catastrophically dangerous. Milton is expected to slow slightly before making anticipated landfall in Florida late tonight, but it's also likely to double in size, meaning more of the state will feel its powerful punch. Forecasters predict the eye wall to come ashore anywhere from Cedar Key in the north to Naples in the south and possibly Fort Myers or Tampa. Lee Waldman is in Tampa where most residents appear to be listening to the dire warnings given by officials. If you choose to stay, you're staying at your own risk. That's a huge risk with monstrous Hurricane Milton on track to deliver a storm surge. More than double what Helene wrought on Florida's Gulf Coast less than two weeks ago. Tampa, Florida is a possible landfall site. That city's mayor even more blunt regarding the danger. If you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you're going to die. This Tampa resident is one of thousands heeding that advice. He's bugging out of Tampa with his wife on their 46th wedding anniversary. What God will give us, we will accept it and always go to the safe place you can go. We'll see. Also critical, clearing out debris left behind by Helene. All hands on deck trying to help out the city uh, as much as we can before uh, the, the big storm comes. This moving company is one of many being commissioned by local officials to work the coastal areas around the clock. We hauled close to 100 tons of debris just uh, yesterday alone. But soon these crews will have to stop helping others and save themselves. This storm's going to be different. If you're in evacuation zone, Please get out. And if there's any doubt, veteran Florida meteorologist John Morales may offer some clarity. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. In Tampa, Florida, I'm Lee Waldman reporting. Florida's governor says shelters of last resort will be set up along major interstates, able to accommodate tens of thousands of people. He's also tapped into state fuel reserves to backfill gas stations that have run dry. I have been watching the videos, Vanessa, on social media of people trying to get out. Just the, the congestion on the highways, just how backed up everything is. I'm very hopeful that people can make it out. Um, but unfortunately, you know, a lot of people don't have the finances to just be able to pick up and leave. And that is something that is really scary when taking these um, dangerous events into consideration. Yeah, and emergency officials, local officials have been saying they don't, people can go to the shelters. They can go tens of miles away from home, not hundreds of miles away of from home and hit I-4 and I-75 as many people are doing. But you know what? I'm glad people are leaving and evacuating because when this storm makes landfall late tonight, somewhere between Tampa and Sarasota, we could be seeing catastrophic damage by tomorrow, Thursday into Friday. My stomach is just in knots, everyone, because I have family, I have friends who vacation in Sarasota, who vacation in the Tampa Bay area. I have visited those beaches my entire life. Just to think about all of this going to be underwater, 15 feet of water in 24 hours, it's, it's, it's horrifying. For someone like me who lived through a Category 5 hurricane, you don't want to be in one of these, everyone. But unfortunately, we are going to see this happen for areas along the west coast of Florida as we head into tonight and into Thursday morning as a major Category 5 Hurricane Milton right now with winds at 160 miles per hour is forecast to make landfall now 24 hours away or less somewhere between Tampa and Sarasota. Now that we're nearing the event, we are getting more of an idea of where exactly the storm is going to make landfall. But regardless, the size of this storm Everyone across the state of Florida is going to be feeling the effects of it. My family and friends back home in South Florida, they're going to be dealing with tropical storm force winds. Everyone's going to be dealing with tropical storm to hurricane force winds, heavy rain on the Gulf Coast, 15 foot storm surge, tornadoes. I, I can just go on forever. This is just going to be felt all over the state of Florida. This is going to quickly move out into the Atlantic by Friday. It's just going to be a remnant low and then We'll be seeing the pictures and video of the devastation it leaves behind. So I'm thinking of all of you back home in Florida. Please keep everyone in Florida in your thoughts and prayers today and into tomorrow because they are going to need it. Back here at home, 
we are remaining quiet with our weather. Look at the temperatures over the next several days. We will be seeing temperatures in the 80s before a big cool down arrives for early next week. Right now, quiet conditions on our satellite and radar. High pressure is dominating our weather. As it moves off to the east, we'll get a south wind today. High temperatures around 83 degrees. In your seven-day forecast, staying in the 80s, mostly sunny. No rain chances for the next seven days, Courtney. Thanks, Vanessa.